Hey guys, welcome to yet another Streamlabs OBS tutorial by Kalancho Productions. In today's video, we will take a closer look at the game capture, which is gonna be the source that you will most likely use to capture the game that you are currently playing. So let's actually go ahead and add a game capture to our scene. And as you can see, it says built-in works with most modern computer games. Most is very important because sometimes you will need to use a display capture to actually showcase the game itself. But yeah, you know, most of the time game capture will get the job done. So you press add source, you give it a name, I will leave it on game capture. And as you can see, you can choose from multiple modes. Uh, the auto mode works pretty flawlessly uh, from my own uh, experience. So yeah, if you just leave it on auto, uh, it will do a good job of, you know, uh, switching between the games. So let's play, let's say you are playing Cyberpunk and then you switch to whatever other game, uh, you know, OBS will do a good, good job of detecting the, the game and switching um, the, the actual source based on what game you are currently running. If it doesn't work for you for any reason, you can always um, go with capture specific window and then selecting the game manually from the list down here. And most of the other stuff, you won't really need to change anything in here um, normally. So yeah, just leave it on default and you are good to go. So let me actually show you that uh, the display capture will, will work uh, pretty much the uh, the same way. So yeah, display capture, there you go. The only difference is uh, when it comes to the performance. So with some games, the display capture uh, works um, better. With some games, the game capture works better. So you just, you know, usually need to just test things out and, and see what works uh, better for you and, you know, what's better for your PC and the specific game that you are currently playing. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. A quick one, a simple one, but at the same time, one of the most valuable ones. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will do my best to answer as soon as possible. And as always, I will see you very soon with another tutorial. Bye-bye. Thank you.